workshop regrouping major institutions involved in the development and implementation of biodiversity policy, education and training in Cameroon has taken place with the aim of uniting partners in a common vision of how to preserve biodiversity in the face of climate change. The main objective of the project is to come up with an integrated approach to education and conservation priorities in Central Africa and how to make research findings more visible in the field. Clarice Are Takan reports. The reality of climate change and its consequences on human, animal and plant life cannot be denied. With one of the most diversified and richest ecosystems in the world, Africa has not been spared from the onslaught of the phenomenon, deforestation, urbanization and mining worsening the impact. In the next uh, uh, 30 years we may lose as much as a third of the species and uh, because of climate change and so everything we do now matters. Possessing knowledge of what should be done to conserve the biodiversity is good but bridging the gap between knowledge and action which leads to results is even better. This is where the Partnership for International Research and Education program comes in. We're trying to do with this project is to identify areas that uh, one can preserve species in the face of climate change. Collaborators from some American and Cameroonian state universities as well as stakeholders involved in climate change and its related issues have a role to play to ensure the success of the project. We want to train the students to be we match the peers, the students of the same age. We're going to group them together, they have the projects together, they work together and they graduate to PhDs together. So in that aspect, we, we, we build this very long-term collaboration. In the next five years, we want to sit down together again in this same hall and say, what have we achieved? With an integrated framework for conserving Central African biodiversity under climate change in place, the hope is that measures to mitigate the effects of habitat loss and climate change will go from theory to practice. 